This is a Fox News alert. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McKay back on Capitol Hill yesterday in his third closed door hearing this week. After the House Intel Committee grilled him all day Tuesday, McCabe spent the day before the House Judiciary and Oversight Panels being asked about James Comey's handling of the Russia investigation and the probe into Hillary Clinton's emails. Republican Congressman Matt Gates of Florida is a member of the Judiciary Committee, joins me now live. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Okay. It's a lot of time spent behind closed doors this week with presumably more to come. I know you can't tell us about what was being asked and answered in that room, but can you tell us where this is all going to go from here? Well, the Judiciary Committee is engaged in an investigation, particularly as it relates to the handling of the Hillary Clinton email scandal and any potential investigations of the Clinton Foundation in the handling of bribes or other types of improper payments. I can certainly say that my impression after these interviews is that there was extreme pro-Hillary Clinton bias that benefited her in this investigation and that she received special treatment as a consequence of her candidacy for president. That shouldn't happen. The law should apply equally to all Americans, whether they're political candidates or not. And so we need to institute reforms through the Judiciary Committee for more oversight, more transparency, so that this never happens again. I wanted to get your reaction to something. A Democratic Representative, Sheila Jackson Lee, who has been in one of these rooms, uh, did step out of the McCabe testimony yesterday to speak to reporters who are, you know, all eager to learn more about the investigation, find out what we can. I want to get your reaction to what she said. Let's listen. This gentleman's potential firing, from my perspective, is a red line in the sand for the president, uh, for the FBI director, the attorney general, and the deputy attorney general. You cannot dismantle a law enforcement officer on political beliefs and political attitudes and political disagreements and political bias. Strong opinion there. What do you think? Well, no one's going to accuse Ms. Jackson Lee of being a moderate. I mean, she's a hyper-partisan Democrat, and she's making the same statements she's consistently made, whether the facts support them or not. Our view is that we need to find out whether or not the procedures were departed from. And we have email evidence from Andrew McCabe indicating that Hillary Clinton was going to get a HQ special, a headquarters special. That meant that the normal processes at the Washington field office weren't followed, and he had a very small group of people that had a pro-Hillary Clinton bias who had a direct role in changing uh, the outcome of that investigation from one that likely should have been criminal to one where she was able to walk. And so I think that we've got to ensure that that never happens again, that the same processes that would apply to any American would also apply to people who are running for president of the United States. Yeah, I was reading through some of the articles about what's been happening there in Washington. We've been hearing some Republicans have been dissatisfied with some of the responses they are getting. Is that why uh, this is going into the multi-hour um, no, look, we're not we're sessions. not dissatisfied as Republicans. Look, we got an economy that's growing. Illegal immigration has been reduced by more than half. We've got uh, historic tax cuts. If we have a year in 2018 like we had in 2017, we're going to be tired of winning. And so I think that there is a good enthusiasm in our party as it relates to these investigations. We just want to follow the facts. We want to see if we've got the right systems and processes in place for reporting and transparency so that the American people have confidence in the FBI and confidence in the Department of Justice. And we can't have a bunch of political autocrats there trying to undermine the duly elected president of the United States. That's what we're fighting for, rule of law and fair democracy, where we get to actually have the president we elected. Okay, last answer real quick. I want to ask you, how long do you think this will go on? Is there going to be a date set? Do you have it in your mind when this will end? My expectation is that within the first quarter of next year, we'll have a, a dispositive conclusion evidencing absolutely no collusion between the president's campaign and Russia. I think it may take some time beyond that to really uh, ensconce the reforms at the FBI and at the Department of Justice so that we don't have circumstances that leave America vulnerable to this type of a political takeover of these critical institutions. All right, Representative Matt Gates, we want to thank you for your time and your insight on this. Happy holidays to you and yours. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Thank you.